Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a makeup basket video for you. This is my fourth makeup basket of 2015. Um, I'm going to run this makeup basket pretty much like Monday the 16th through March 2nd. I do bi-weekly makeup baskets because I don't wear makeup every day and um, also I just want more than a week to play with you know the different items especially if I'm not wearing makeup every day so I kind of like a two-week basket it works a little bit better for me rather than the make than the weekly ones um, so I still have new stuff in this basket um, if you've been watching my videos you know that I've had a lot of new stuff that I purchased during holiday season and even a little bit before holiday season um, of 2014 and it carried over I wasn't using it because I was doing a project pan um, and I wasn't using my new stuff until I completed that and so I was holding off on it and so I've been using my new stuff and it's really fun. I'm starting to um, get to the end of my palettes though, my Christmas palettes that my husband got me. I'm on my last one um, for that but then I got a couple new items that I kind of broke my January no buy at the end of the month like seriously I think it was like the 30th of January so I'll show those to you because they're in the basket um so I'll just get started um doing kind of like what I the way I would put the items on my face so the first thing I have is my Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer Really, really love this. This is brand new. I just opened it and used it today. Actually, um, I got I got it with my uh, with a Christmas gift card I had to Ulta. So love this primer. It's absolutely amazing, and it works very well for me. I'm gonna try to not flash you guys my bra if I can help it. <laughs> um, for foundation, I actually this is funny. I put this in. It is the L'Oreal True Match um, in. Let's see, neutral N2, classic ivory N2. And I'm wearing it today, and I put it in my basket because I thought it was in my Project Pan items to be used up in 2015, and I don't think it is. Now that I, once I put it on, I was like, I don't think this is even in my project. I think it's an extra lasting Avon foundation that's supposed to be. So I might switch it back. I've got a list. I made a list, you know, of all the items in my project pan um, for 2015. So I'm going to go back and check the list. And if this is not on the list, I'll probably switch it out. But I haven't used it in a while and I wanted to, you know, just take it out and see how it was going. So that is what I have on today. Um, I also still have my Avon Ideal Flawless CC Cream Color Corrector in Light Medium. It's really starting to be empty which makes me happy so uh, hopefully I'm going to keep plugging away at it until it's gone. Um, for concealers I've got this new one from Avon. It debuts in campaign six so um, it'd be pretty soon. This is the Ideal Flawless Cream Concealer and the color is fair. I showed this in a recent um, little Avon haul that I had but I I have been using it. I have it on today. I've used it a couple times. And my first initial reaction to it was like, Ew, I don't know if this is a good color match for me. It seemed yellow. I don't know if the lighting was off that day or what, but it's not. It's not yellow. Um, it works really well. And I like the coverage that it gives me under my eyes, especially. I think it does a pretty good job. And it's very lightweight consistency. It's not one of those really thick, heavy ones, even though it's a cream concealer and in like a compact form. It's pretty nice. I've been impressed with it so far. So um, that's what concealer I'm using. I still do have this one also. I just kind of keep it in the makeup bag because I like this a lot too. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, Age Rewind Dark Circle um, Eraser Treatment thingy. <laughs> and the color on that is fair. I like this a lot too. I love the way it goes on, you guys. It just feels like so smooth and... I don't know. It's just really nice. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I have the ELF HD under eye, if I can grab a hold of it, H ELF High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. That's a go-to product. It's always going to be in my bag and then I, or my basket. And then I also have my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in 011 Creamy Natural. This is in my items to use up for 2015 Project Pan. It's coming along. So I can't complain about that. Okay, moving on to like cheeks and blush and everything. I don't have as much this time. Like 
many multiple items. I am using this as a contour still. This is my Avon Single Eyeshadow in Beige. I'm using it. I have it on as a contour today on my cheeks and my nose. Um, works really well for me. I like it. I, you know, I've been mentioning it in a couple of videos recently, so um, pleased with it. I will continue to use that as a contour. And then I pulled out two blush sticks from Avon. They're the B blush sticks. This one is the Golden Rose. I used this one in the Smoky Eye Date Night look I did a couple days ago. So that's the Golden Rose. Very pretty. It has a gorgeous sheen to it. It's just really nice. You don't need a highlighter with this. It's very natural and it looks so summery. I just, I really, really enjoy it. And summer is something we could use on a date today. It is crazy here, you guys. I think I I saw this morning on the Weather Channel, it's like a uh, wind chill of 25 to 35 below for today and tomorrow. It is ridiculous. And um, I'm filming this on Valentine's Day, even though it probably won't go up on until Monday. So I know so many people that just said they weren't going to even go out for Valentine's Day because you know, it was so, so nasty out. Snowing and blowing and just freezing cold, frigid. Um, I did my Valentine's Day yesterday with my husband. We had a really nice date. So I um, hope you guys all have a good one too. But I did decide to wear my Valentine's sweater, even though, <laughs> even though, so it's got lips on it. Super cute, I think. Just really, really cute. I got it at Lane Bryant, so there's lips all over it. Okay, anyways, as usual, I get off topic. Um, the other one is called Pink Melon, and I have not used this one yet. This is just a really bright, nice, true pink. Very pretty. So I'm really enjoying these Be Blushed sticks. And I have a couple more to get before I complete the entire collection. But I really, really like them. Okay, now for bronzing and blush, this is the other item that broke my January no-buy thing. This is the Narcissist, and it's like a mirror. So, of course, you're going to be able to... It's a mirrored... Um, I don't know there you can kind of see I don't know anyways whatever anyways so this is the narcissist um blush contour and lip palette and it has um three blushes and a highlight and the Laguna bronzer so it has enrapture enthralled and Roman holiday are the blushes albatross is the highlighter and of course the Laguna bronzer and then it has a lip gloss um and the color is Istria Istria, Istria. So I'm going to go ahead and open this for you. I just really, I really, really wanted it. <laughs> I really enjoy my NARS blushes, you guys. I really do. And I really enjoy the Laguna bronzer. So this is the top layer. You have your lip gloss in there, which I have not used the lip gloss yet. And then you have your three blushes, which is, um, I don't know if I can read, in Raptured. Um, enthralled and then Roman holiday down here the third one and then that lifts up the little tray lifts up and then it reveals the I don't want to dump dump this then it reveals the uh, Laguna bronzer and the albatross highlight and I do have these on today I have the Laguna bronzer on I have the albatross as a highlight I also used this middle blush which one? Did I use the middle one? Yeah, this middle one here, which is enthralled. I use that kind of as like a, I tried to kind of fade my blush to be a little bit darker in the back here. So, so I used that, but I haven't used a lip gloss yet. Very happy with it. It's so pretty. I just, I love my NARS stuff and I know that it's limited edition and I really liked my NARS palette that I got at Christmas time, that virtual domination one. So definitely I wanted to get that. Okay, moving on to eyes. I have my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion here. This was like a deluxe sample size I got. I think it must have came with um, my smoked palette that I got. And then for eye bases, I have two. I have, I'm continuing to use the Mark Keep It Going Long Wear um, one in... Um, exposure. There's two cream shadows in here. They can be used as, actually I think technically they're supposed to be eyeliners, but I've been using them as cream eyeshadow bases. And I'm not going to open it and show you guys because I'm really, really excited about the progress on it. So um, uh, I'll save that for my Project Pan update at the end of the month. And then the other one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Leather Collection um, Creamy Beige. And I'll show you guys the color of that. And I've been using this um, 
mainly for my brows. I got uh, the idea for it. I was hearing some other people talk about using the toughest taupe in their brow for their brows in some different videos and um I didn't think anything about it because I don't have toughest taupe for one thing. But then um I was watching a video from uh Cherish from Pretty Pistol 86 and she was showing this or talking about it. I can't exactly remember. But anyways, the creamy beige and I was like, I think she showed it. Well, I can't remember. But anyways, I was like, oh, that would probably work really well in my brows. Also, as an alternative to the toughest taupe, since I don't have that one. And um, it's it's just a really nice, um, kind of neutral to cool type beige color. So I tried it, and I like it quite a bit. So I've been using that in my brows. But I can also use it as an eyeshadow base if I choose to. And then I do have two... Uh, let's see, what else do I have in here? I have always got two of these um, Lorac eyeshadow singles because um, I am trying to use both of these up and pan them in um, my Project Pan items. I want to use up for 2015. One is the single in taupe and the other one is the single in cream. I probably will not use them, this makeup basket, though because the two palettes I, I pulled out to use both have good uh, transition and highlight shades so but I still keep them in there anyways just um just because I do want to try to use them up so then the two eyeshadow palettes that I have pulled to use one of them that my husband got me for Christmas is the Lorac Pro 2 so it looks like that and I actually have this on today I have a different lid color that's not um from the palette but everything else is I used um today I'll show you what I, I used. I used um, the peach here and the plum and uh, buff, I think it's called. And I really, really liked it. And I have to say, just from using three shades, it feels to me or it seems to me like this one is not as quite as powdery as the first Lorac Pro. Um, I used that one last makeup basket and I had heard it was quite soft from... You know, all you guys that are panning the Lorac Pro have mentioned how messy it can be um, in the pan and how soft it is. And when I used it, I discovered that even though the, the shadows themselves are beautiful and they blend great, they are very soft, so you really have to be careful. And just from the three that I used today, I didn't think this one seems as soft. So that's a good thing. And then the other, th the other palette that I put in is new. I bought it at the end of the month <laughs> of January so that is what caused me to break my no buy this and the uh, narcissist but it is the Too Faced semi-sweet and I haven't used it yet at all so completely untouched virgin eyeshadow we have going on here it is beautiful though it's lovely and it smells just as delicious as the first one um I had really wasn't going to get this one anytime soon. The um, the first chocolate bar had been out for quite a long time. I think over a year at least before I, well I got it for Christmas. My husband got it for me but I was I didn't really think I needed it. So then, and then I had changed my mind after watching Angela Pan chocolate bar. It made me really want it. And so then I thought well I can really hold off on the semi-sweet. But then I saw um, HSN had a deal where they put it on like four easy pays I think of $12. Was that right? Four easy pays of $12. And I was like, okay, twist my arm, HSN. <laughs> so I got it. So I'm excited to use that though. Um, okay. And then for eyeliners, I've got uh, two here that I'm, I still have this Maybelline Mega Impact in Cobalt, which is a really nice, pretty blue color. Um, and then I have pulled out this. Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion, which is just their basic black. I ran out of my Avon Super Shock Gel Liner in Blackout, which is my absolute favorite black eyeliner. I have come to realize that, and I started using a Buxom one to replace it, and it doesn't work as well. So then I pulled out this one to use, and it works pretty good, but it's still not the same. So I think I am going to break down and get... Um, the blackout when I put in my next Avon order just because it really holds my waterline well. It's it's a wonderful eyeliner and I might get the brown one too. I haven't decided but just really really nice. 
Um, for brows, I've got my uh, e.l.f. Eyebrow Treat and Tame in light, and I have this Glimmer Stick from Avon in Tawny, which is like a reddish-brown shade. And um, I kind of, like I said, I've been using that uh, that creamy beige color tattoo also. And I also use the beige Avon eyeshadow single, too, if I want to fill in anything. And then for mascara, I've got a couple different ones. Um, I did start to use one of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascaras that came with my um, whole holiday... 2014 Tarte set from QVC. Now I can't remember. Sweet Indulgences? Is that what it's called? I think Sweet Indulgences. So you got two of these and I hadn't opened up either one of them yet and I know I'll get another um, set in May because I did auto delivery and so I'll get another two of these. I was like, okay, I'm going to at least open one of them and start using, start using it. And it is what I have on today and this is a, I have a love-hate relationship with this mascara because I think it does a really good job of lengthening and defining and then all of a sudden it clumps and see like I have, especially on this right eye, on towards the inner portion of my eye, I get these like lashes that stick together and it drives me nuts. I don't understand why it does that. It just makes me crazy. So it's either me not applying it right, although I've been using tons of mascara for years and years and years and you know, I think I know how to put it on, but it's just me trying to work with this and figure out how to use it well so that it doesn't do that to me. But, you know, I like it. It wears nice. It doesn't flake. It it gives me definition and length and volume, but sometimes it does that. It sticks together and it kind of bugs me. So, <laughs> so. and then I have also um, still this mini Buxom that came in a 500 point perk that I got from Sephora. And so did this one also, which is the Smashbox Full Exposure. That was also in a 500 point kit perk thingy from Sephora. So I have already opened those, so I'm gonna keep using them because you don't get a lot of time out of those little guys. They tend to dry out after a couple weeks. So I'll keep using that. And lips, I always have just whatever I feel like doing. I've got, um, some lip glosses and lipsticks pulled from my project pan that I keep on hand that I use throughout the day. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm working on those and, uh, I think that's about it today. I have on the, um, Too Faced Melted Berry. I haven't worn that in quite a while. So I thought I would pull that out and give that a shot. So that's what's in my basket for the next two weeks. This will take me to the beginning of March. And then I think I'll be able to start going back and using some of the things that I already had that are not new that I want to go back to. I'm very excited to use my um, Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. I swatched that considerably back when I did the perfect palette tag months ago and I was like oh my gosh this is so beautiful and I'm really so I'm really excited to use that I'm also really excited to use of all things my NYX uh, winter in Moscow palette do you guys remember that one it's a smoky eye palette it's got like lots and lots of options for smoky eye um, and blushes included in it and a highlight and for some reason I've been like craving to use that palette kind of like you crave a pizza or you crave tacos or something it's really weird I don't know so those will be coming up soon and I do still have a couple I have my two Tarte palettes that, I, that came with the Sweet Indulgences um, set at Holiday I haven't really used those much so instead of pulling them both out the same basket I think I'll use one in one basket and maybe pair it with the Pretty Rebel and then use the other one um, in a different basket and pair it with the winter in Moscow. And I also still have lots of um, small quads and stuff like that to use up uh, from um, Wet n Wild and Maybelline that a friend sent me. Uh, lots and lots of Wet n Wild and Maybelline that's brand new and I haven't even used it yet. So, so I still have some new things that I can use thrown in with some old things, but I really am excited right now about putting on my makeup every day. I don't remember being this excited about my makeup in a long time. Um, 
I just am very much enjoying coming up with new looks. I'm very much enjoying playing with everything, rotating it out. I've been watching a lot of Shop My Stash videos from different people and weekly makeup basket videos and things like that and just really enjoying my collection. And I don't know what it is that's that's happened if it's my frame of mind or what but I'm in a place right now where I'm really really happy with my collection and I'm really getting a lot of pleasure and enjoyment out of using it so um let me know what you guys think about the items in my basket tell me what's in yours this week or next week what you're working through and working on and um as always, I appreciate you so much for watching. If you're a new subscriber, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Question or comment below, I get back to you. It might take me a couple days, but I always get back to everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next video.